AM 970 WSTX. Okay, and I'm here talking, folks, with none other than author Tani Lamb visiting with us here on her whirlwind tour. I should say repeat whirlwind tour, but this time it's very, very special. She's already started on building her audience out there in the room and has a young man there is enthralled with this book that she has written so you know you have a, a commitment for the very first purchase on St. Croix if somebody else hasn't bought it already so go ahead and introduce yourself Tani. Hello my name is Tani Lamb and I currently reside in Dallas but I, um, I'm from Kentucky from the Appalachian Mountains, and I've written a children's book called Tea Season Island. Uh, Tea Season Island. All right, and there's a young man sitting on the couch <laughs> reading Tea Season Island right now, and his exclamations of interest and and uh, wonderment in reading that book. And um, I, uh, I'll tell you afterwards why it's so amazing to me because you know you have the, the iPad and the iPad is there, but he's in the book. And it's usually the other way around, so I'm very, very happy to see what I'm seeing there. All right. So, uh, you grew up in the Appalachian Mountains. Yes. Okay. Tell me a little bit about what the Appalachian Mountains are in terms of your neighborhood. Um. I mean, I have in my mind... Uh, hilly terrain, tall pine trees, winding roads. That's what I have in my head, but you tell it from your perspective. My imagination is gone. That is actually correct. Um, we were actually in the mountains, but it was a great place to be a kid. Mm -hmm. um, we had the streams, we had the, the grass, the hills, you know, the tire swings. It was really, it was a really fun place to be a kid. All right, fantastic. Okay, so how did you come to, to leave uh, those, those that wonderful environment heading out to Texas, the big the the big Lone Star State of Texas. There were actually a few stops. I graduated from high school in Tennessee, mm -hmm. and then I went to um, I lived in Minnesota, Miami, Ohio, and then I graduated from University of Memphis in Memphis, mm -hmm. Tennessee, and then I decided to give Texas a try. So. Okay. What, what part of Ohio? I'm Columbus. Columbus, okay. Well, I I was up, right up, uh, well, I should say that more down the road, um, um, past Xenia, out in Wilberforce, Central State. Okay. Okay, so I have a little bit of uh, a history from, from the Ohio Times. And at one point in time, we also take, took a, um, a Ute Steel Pan Orchestra up there, and we had a, a, a series of events that we performed at. Um, so got a little bit of history with with Ohio all right fantastic so settled in Texas yes <laughs> all right so now I, I know uh, you have a, a, another profession and what what took you to that profession um, <laughs> I love I love hair and makeup and I just like helping women with their self-esteem so anything I can do to make you feel better. I love the look on my clients' faces, you know, when they come in and I create a miracle and they work and they walk out with a whole new them, so. Well, you, it sounds to me like you're lucky to be here because they, <laughs> they were ready to go and blockade the runway and say, no, you can't go. <laughs> All right, fantastic. So now every, every author, at least from my perspective, every author has a, a journey something happens. For some, it's from the time they were small, they were scribbling on something, and for others, it was they were always telling a story. The, the, the story is different for everyone. So how, uh, how did your journey take you to being an author? Um, I do remember being a small um, child and writing my first little book <laughs> in my little toy room, but I used to love reading my encyclopedias. So I read mm. a lot, which turned into me traveling a lot. So it, it, that's what encouraged me to write. I've seen so much, and I would love to encourage the children, along with other people, to not only read, but also to travel. All right. Well, one of the challenges when it comes to reading is, of course, the, the, the gadget games and all this other stuff is so alluring and, and, and consuming that 
the, the adults and teachers and uh, whether they're actual teachers or just the parents, you have to make a concerted effort to make sure that they have that, that opportunity to spend some time reading. That, that is the challenge, but uh, the, there's nothing more fertile than a child's imagination. So once they're reading something that they like, it's just like, wow, it just takes off. So I, I commend you in what you are doing, particularly uh, the children approach, because there are lots of novels and stuff out there. But challenging children, and just from what I saw out there on the couch, I'll say again, <laughs> and it's like, you're, you're, you're definitely on the right track. Okay. So tell us a little bit about Tani in the context of tea. So the book is actually about my adventures, but I'm retelling it from my seven-year-old self. So all of the trips that I've taken, I decided to retell them. So this particular book was inspired when I visited here last year. So I had, so I had an amazing time. Um, we went to Buck Island, we snorkeled, we snorkeled in St. Thomas, and it was just fun. Mm -hmm. And I felt like a little kid. Did so, you go on a seaplane when you went to St. Thomas? I did. All right. Okay. All right. I did. <laughs> Matching all the parts on the stick right down and making sure you check off everything. All right. Well, yes. there are a couple of other things we talked about out there, like the luminescent bay and stuff like that. But definitely don't leave without getting your ice cream. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I'm, I'm glad to hear that this is a, a return trip because you had me there for a moment. I was thinking this is her <laughs> first time here, and another island might have been the, the, uh, the, what caused the genesis of this book. But I'm so happy to hear, folks. Uh, we were talking about this beautiful island and we have to take care of it and the island hospitality is something we want to live on and here you have living proof in the in the form of this children's book being in essence something uh, that originated out of visiting St. Croix. All right. Good, good. So I, I hope that it's the, the second of many visits. There's so much to see and so much to do. So. Um, places in the world that you've traveled. Let's talk a little bit. You don't have to recite them all like it's a school <laughs> assignment or anything like that. Just those that jump out at you. Um, my favorites are Barcelona, Malta, Vienna, and Egypt. Mm -hmm. And what made them favorite to you? Um, Egypt was on my checklist from when I was a kid. I had to see the pyramids. You know, it was just one of those, you think about the pharaohs, the hieroglyphics. I had to see it with my own eyes. All right, fantastic. So this afternoon, your book will be signed by you, I should say. My copy of your book will be signed <laughs> by you for sure, okay? Because uh, you see that young man has to have one to go home with for sure. Okay, and um, <clears throat> that's going to be here at Undercover Books. So uh, you discovered Undercover Books how? I was um, looking for a bookstore in the U.S. Virgin Islands. and While you were here or from away? From away. From away. Yes. Okay. Yes, and it popped up, and it looked really unique. I'm mm -hmm. like, I like that store. So I did a little bit of research. And it truly is. <laughs> you're right there. You've got the bistro right next door, so you can. it's set up with a seating outside so you can sit down, drink your coffee, latte, whatever the case may be, enjoy a good book in the process. Uh, a lot of... Um, social activity takes place there. And when I say social activity, people who just have a ritual of meeting there once a week or for breakfast every day. So it, it's, it's not only unique, but it's, it has a special place and a special meaning for uh, a lot of people. So yeah, undercover books. And um, I, I do my best whenever they have uh, artists coming through to get some exposure here. And I'm so glad that you found out about that and found your way here. All right. Thank you. Good, good. Okay, folks. Well, you have to see, you have to see the book, TC's an Island. It's a uh, beautiful cover. Nice. But who did, who did the, uh, the art for you? Her name is Marion McKell. She's mm -hmm. actually Egyptian. 
So um, I, I, it was a challenge trying to find an illustrator. <laughs> And I finally found her and, and we had a bond. You know, she was very professional, very talented. And I actually, um, the little guest outside actually liked the way that it looked as if the illustrations were done with the crayon. Mm -hmm. And she actually did draw everything by hand, you know. So back to what you were saying about with all the tablets and technology, she actually drew the illustrations by hand, which, which all the children love. It looks like they did it, you know, so. Well, I'm going to tell the Mari <laughs> that he has a potential future being an art <laughs> critic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. But uh, through, through the, the eyes of a child, it's, it's always great when you have that, that type of, of response, okay? And for those of you on, on Facebook, you've probably seen it either on my page or you've seen it on What's Going Down Virgin Islands and otherwise listening but definitely uh, you have friends and family who come to visit from time to time or have not gotten here yet or have children or grandchildren that are coming here for the first time I would highly recommend that you send them a Christmas gift a birthday gift a anytime gift of TC's and Island it would be a great introduction for them when they get here with their eyes wide open and aglow <laughs> looking forward to this adventure. Yes. Okay, because uh, that's, that's what I'm, I'm always involved in, some adventure. I love that word. So, and um, you're leaving when now? On Saturday. On Saturday. Okay. Folks, I already chastised her <laughs> about folks coming here and otherwise staying a few days only to moan and groan and cry and plead and want to have some reason that the plane can't take off so that they can stay a couple more days. And um, little did I know at, at the time that this was her second visit. But you see, I'm doing my part. I'm being Mr. Tourism here, Mr. St. Croix here, and everything else. So it's, it's all good, and it's, it's all great. So 4 p.m. this afternoon at Undercover Books, Tani Lam, the author, will be on hand to sign copies of her book. And of course, if you would like her to do a special reading, I'm sure that she'd be willing to do that for you or your child if you're able to bring your child at that time. It'd be great, 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 great. And, um, and you're leaving Saturday. Are you going to be here to be able to do a reading on Saturday by chance, or you've got an early flight? Um, the flight leaves at 2. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, I, I said I can, uh, Undercover Books, they do have a children's reading hour or something there that they do. And I, I, I put it that way because I planned for it, and then I had something else I had to do. The young man got to go. <laughs> so the big kid got left out. <laughs> but uh, definitely. So if not this time, for the next time yes. around. And uh, that way you can have some of your other books that will have blossomed by then in terms of talking about your travels and adventures. Yes. All right. Fantastic. So from... St. Croix is going back to Texas, or, um, or you're on the tour? Oh, well, no, um, we're going to stop in Puerto Rico for a few days. All right, yes. fantastic. All right, first time there, or? Second time. Second time? All right, good, good. All right, well, the, the whole Caribbean has so much to offer. You know, when you grow up here, you have a tendency to take a lot of things for granted. And it wasn't until I went off to college and everybody wanted to come down with me for spring break. <laughs> then I started, wait a minute now, what's going on here? And started to realize that uh, I did in fact live in a very unique and special place that I needed to have more appreciation of in that sense. So you have a tendency sometimes to grow up here and yearn to go to the United States, not realizing the gold mine with many tunnels leading to different adventurous places that you have right here in the Caribbean. So. I will, even though it's the second time, I want to say welcome to St. Croix and your uh, arms are open. The Crucian Hospitality is here for you because there's so much more to explore. And uh, definitely 
if you uh, have the opportunity next time around, let's see if we can get a, a, a video recording reading at Undercover Books. That would yes. be fantastic. Okay. All right. Well, I'm, I'm glad to have you here. Uh, any special shout outs you want to give to someone who may be listening somewhere where we're on the, uh, tune in and of course on the internet so I'm sure you have those people out there who may be listening or while while I'm at it let me just share something with you how things work when I was in in Ohio a tornado came through and tore up my school Okay, so now I'm going to do like the movies and I'm going to go back a couple of weeks, all right? I was listening to the radio um, and at that time, uh, it's something, it wasn't like TV, it's in the dorm. So I'm listening to the radio and I'm scanning the stations and I heard this voice that I recognize. And um, that voice was the voice of a lady by the name of Rita Phillips. And she was... Uh, uh, talk uh, DJ talk show host here in the Virgin Islands and she was in Dayton Ohio so I jumped on the bus went from Wilberforce to Xenia down to Dayton and went to the station and of course it was fantastic for her that someone from the Virgin Islands just by sheer chance listening to the radio heard her voice and uh, so fast forward back now the Tornado came through, tore up the place. She made a point to come and look for me and to arrange my travel back home because, of course, school was shut down and everything else. So it's a small, it's a, a small world in that sense. So I, I come full back, full circle to you in, in that again. But we're going to take a quick break here and then we'll come back and, and talk about the book some more. Hello, this is Doc Peterson. And this is Peter Abrahams inviting you to join us every Friday from 8 to 10 a.m. Where we discuss events of the day. And upcoming events with a nostalgic touch. That's Sam Friday with Doc Peterson and Peter Abrahams. It ain't Friday until I say so. On your mind, on your mind. Italian Paradise, the new eatery at 2022 B Queen Cross Street. Italian Paradise's Eat to Live menu carries a selection of gluten free daily specials. Enjoy their homemade veggie burger, lasagna, tofu dishes, Ital, green salads, and much more. Don't leave before you try gluten free pastries and a local cool refreshment like chlorophyll with moringa or other seasonal juices. Speaking about moringa, start your day with a cup of moringa tea filled with anti antioxidants, minerals, and vitamins. In a rush, call and place your order. 713-ITEL. That's 713-4825. Keep it on the X. AM 970 WSTX. Gallows Bay Hardware is the ideal store for all your electrical, plumbing, home goods, paint, and paint supplies. The store has a new look to better serve you. It's a home of hardware and garden goods, luxury goods, and a wide selection of metric and standard bolts and nuts. So don't delay. Get that weekend project underway by shopping at Gallus Bay Hardware. You'll always find a courteous, friendly, and professionally trained staff to assist you. Whatever your hardware needs, see us first at Gallus Bay Hardware. We also ship to neighboring islands. So for the best prices, quality products, see us at Gallus Bay Hardware. 
Gallus Bay, St. Croix, open seven days a week. Call us at 340-773-1034. Gallus Bay Hardware in business to serve you. March is National Problem Gambling Awareness Month. The Virgin Island Casino Control Commission, in collaboration with the National Council on Problem Gambling and ABC Behavioral Consultant Services, LLC, are urging health care providers in the Virgin Islands to have the conversation with your patients and colleagues about the effects of problem gambling. If you or someone you know have a gambling problem, please call 1-800-522-4700. That's 1-800-522-4700 and get your life back on track. This message is sponsored by the Virgin Islands Casino Control Commission. This is AM 970. WSTX. All right, we're back with WSTX AM 970. And um, here hearing the the phone there from my tech guy and I'm saying like where's my phone and you know sometimes you just have to disengage and leave things I, I saw you you sent me a message yesterday and immediately after you sent the message my phone went dead <laughs> <laughs> the battery was low uh, but we were visiting a friend uh, with a child uh, who's getting ready to go to the states to stay with their mom who was away at school so we were over there to kind of um have that that not last but that goodbye encounter in the process and then i saw this message and then i boom <laughs> phone is dead anyhow but i did send a message later on and um i've lived in 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 washington dc and had to learn how to drive, get around, everything. The, the, the pressure driving there is something else. You don't want to drive there unless you live there and know the place that well. Bus, taxi, train, everything is great. No need to, to drive. What's it like in Texas where you live? Well, <laughs> we have um, a lot of people are moving there. Mm -hmm. So our traffic has gotten, it's gotten pretty tough. Mm -hmm. And they're trying to expand all of the interstates, and that creates another, mm -hmm. another issue. But it's gotten, it's gotten difficult. <laughs> okay. Right. Yes. Well, you know, um, <laughs> from the from the days of of horse and carts, in terms of here, you know, from the days of horse and carts, things have gotten a little bit more difficult here, also because everybody wants to own a car. Of course, everybody wants to sell you a car. Uh, that's that's just part of the American way, I guess. Uh, and public transportation, in some ways, has been slow in coming and slow in gaining consistency. Uh, and then the things like the private taxi buses are in competition, or they see that as competition, so they exert their political influence to hopefully not have too much expansion of of that. Uh, I went to to Denmark last August. Uh, you ever been in that side of the country? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, it was amazing to me. You see on TV people riding bicycles, but it was amazing to me the extent to which they had, the, in, I, I say integrated, but really it was always a part of the way that, that they lived and, and, and got around. And um, Travel is so important to perspective because if you just live one place and and now with the proliferation of TV and, and internet, it's a little bit different, but it's still very easy to be somewhere and have an insular way of thinking uh, and, and a very limited perspective. So that trip was, was very good in terms of like that young man out there and his experience, uh, it just opened opened his eyes in ways that uh, if I had my way, we would have a, 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 a running exchange program for every school. There would be an exchange program with some other school so that children would always get a chance to rotate through and have a, another experience because I believe that has so much to do with the, the outlook of our young people in terms of uh, hope 
uh, for their future and what they should be expecting. And that's, that's a big part, their expectations. Because if they have low expectations, we're in trouble. True. <laughs> <laughs> we're in trouble. So we want to make sure as much as possible that they have a, a great sense of adventure. Now, um, I haven't had a chance to, to read the book. Yes, I read it too. And I tried to get him to read to me, but if I could just stay awake long enough to hear the end of the story, that would be great. But I like the exercise. I would rather him uh, criticize and admonish me for not making it through. Okay, and I tell him, okay, try harder. Next time, maybe I'm going to work with you, okay? And, uh, but you have to use these strategies as far as keeping them engaged not only for their imagination, but the interaction as parents or grandparents or aunts and uncles, so that for them, reading for someone is a skill that they, they're not even realizing they're learning, but they have it, yes. and, and they'll be able to do it and appreciate it. Because my daddy did that with me, or my mommy did that with me, and my grandma did that with me, so forth and so on. Um, so you, you have family in, in, in um, Kentucky still? Or, I do. My okay. grandpa and my aunt Vivian. Okay. Yes. Fantastic. All right. So uh, you make it a point to get by there on a regular basis? Yes. Definitely. <laughs> family is everything. Yes. Family is everything. All right. We just had a, a, a family reunion here for uh, one branch of, of my family, my paternal grandmother, the Robux. We had a, a wonderful time meeting all these people from all the way down to Australia, to all the way to Denmark, and it's just, it's amazing. And if you don't do things like family reunions, it's, there's so much to lose, and you have so much more to gain just by doing it. So I'm, I'm a proponent of that. I was down to, I told you about the Landmark Society. If you get a chance to go down there and, and visit, uh, there was a family down there, the, um, um, oh my goodness, you see, this is, this is what happens, you know, Pell family. Anyhow, they, they had a, a reunion group there and there was a performance going on. And that particular organization and museum, they tried to coordinate uh, so that family reunions that happen around this time of year, we have a, a, a program called Come Home to St. Croix. Right? So have you, uh, if you get a chance also in terms of visiting St. Croix again, uh, there's certain things that happen here uh, regularly every year. For instance, we have a fantastic uh, agricultural fair fest here in February. And of course, we know that um, places like Texas, it may not be hail and sleet and snow, but it ain't that warm either. So you could always come here that time and take plenty of pictures and, um, let it, and, and be the envy of everyone when, when, when you go back. Uh, also, we have a uh, uh, festival slash carnival in, in uh, December, January, really, end of December, January. And that's, that's a great time also in terms of things going on here. Uh, local food, we had much of an opportunity to, to, to dig into local Virgin Islands food? Um, not this time, mm -hmm. but I had some the first time. Okay, good, good. Well, we, we have some, some stalwart restaurants here, one in Christianstead, uh, Harvey's in particular, that uh, I would highly recommend that you, you visit. But uh, definitely uh, just consider us here at WXTX part of your extended family next time. Touch bases when you come down and we can give you a few non-commercial pointers, things that <laughs> might be kind of off the beaten path that are fun and, and great experiences along the way. Every now and then we have uh, visitors from some of these uh, chef shows or, or exotic food shows that come through here and they discover a lot of interesting things so you can find some of that on the uh, on the internet and on YouTube. So are you already contemplating the next book? Yes, um, the next two are going to be TC's The Colosseum for mm -hmm. Rome and then TC's The Pyramids in Egypt. All right, all right. Well, keep, keep them coming. I'm looking forward to it and seeing as how you have extended family here now that's looking <laughs> forward to it. Keep them coming, yeah. And I look forward to 
hopefully doing some of that ga gallivanting along the globe and take that young man along, let him see through his eyes, and hopefully just like you and your experiences to spark something. Yes. Yeah, definitely. All right. Okay, and um, in terms of uh, family, uh, Kentucky, any other, any other states? Um, my mom is in Tennessee, mm -hmm. and I have family in Ohio still, in Cleveland, in Columbus, mm -hmm. Detroit, mm -hmm. um, and then Louisville. All right. I have, I have friends in Ohio who come down here f on timeshare every year, and we make it a point to get together, and I've been up there in Hayden, Hayden Ohio. Um, and so Ohio seems to be, we have a, a common ground there. <laughs> keep getting back to to Ohio. Well, I'm really glad that you took the time out to come in here and spend some time with us here today. Uh, this this time is all yours, so if there's anything that I neglected to touch on that you want to touch on, definitely this time is yours. I love this picture. I love <laughs> this picture. You. All right, give my compliments to the artist. Miss Marion McHale. Yes, 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 definitely. Has she ever been to the Virgin Islands? I don't believe so. Well, tell her that she has to do justice to this picture and this book and come and see the Virgin Islands and come and enjoy some of what T came and see. So, yes. Okay? <laughs> Most definitely. But um, I, I'm, looking, I'm looking forward to this session with the young man where he can tell me all about it and, and read some to me. Okay. Well, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. And uh, definitely come again. I will. Write again. <laughs> I will. And next time we'll have the, the reading and do a few more fun things on St. Croix and uh, definitely enjoy the Caribbean. So don't let it all slip away. We have all these islands to <laughs> see. Of course, St. Croix is the gem of the Caribbean, so you will always come back to St. Croix. Yes. Uh, how long did you stay in St. Thomas when you were here? Just a day trip? I think about... Two and a half, three days. Two and a half, three days. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, uh, St. Croix is your favorite, right? <laughs> <laughs> I did stay here longer. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay, well, St. Saint Thomas is closer to hustle and bustle. There's a lot of hustle and bustle going on here. Kick back and relax, St. Croix, yes. anytime. All right, so each one has something special to offer. It's not about being better. Just take <laughs> favorite child. <laughs> okay. Anything to keep a little friendly rivalry going <laughs> in that sense. Now, I have lots of friends in St. Thomas, and we, we go at it sometimes, needle each other type of thing. So, But it's all good. It's all in love, and it's all in a beautiful place that we have to be appreciative of and take care of. And it's so wonderful when we can see someone come from somewhere else and through their expressions, in this case, a book, remind us of the beautiful place we live in. Okay, and we'll be sharing that with the young people, and I'm going to make arrangements. So this afternoon, um, are the books there already? Yes. Okay, fine. I think it, I'm going to make sure that if I'm on the road this afternoon, that my book is sitting there waiting <laughs> for you, so I would be able to come in and get it. My plan is to uh, come in, but... There's some other things going on, like you've got Saturday, I, I may have a thing on Saturday also. <laughs> so <laughs> if I got to go, I got to go. One of those things, all right? Fantastic. I'm really glad that you were able to come through and grace us with this time and this book. Thank you. All right, good, good. So the person that you're traveling with that is your family? Mm -hmm. My cousin. Your cousin? All right. Is this her first time here? Yes. Oh, wow. So, uh, you know. <laughs> It's, I, I really hope that she's getting a chance to get out and see everything, and when she gets back, she'll be ready to come. Okay, is she in Texas also? No, she's in D.C. Okay, <laughs> D.C. Great, great, great. See, that way she she knows about the snow and the sleet and the slipping on the ice uh -huh. and all this other good stuff. Uh -huh. So <laughs> she's ready. <laughs> she is ready. Okay, so she's probably there complaining. Why do we have to leave on Saturday? <laughs> All right, Tani. Tani Lamb, author of Tea Season Island. Adventure, adventure, adventure. I tell you, the most recalcitrant child from reading will be enthralled with this book. <laughs> 
bring them to the book signing or definitely check it out when you come into Undercover Books. Bring them to the children reading time here at Undercover Books. Hey, reading is fundamental and the payback comes exponentially. All right. Thank you so much. I can't uh, leave here because I've got to, to man the studio. But the floor is all yours, whatever you would like to talk about in closing. Some parting words. Um, I am working on an activity book mm -hmm. to go along with this book. Mm -hmm. You know, just to tell people more about St. Thomas and St. Croix. Mm -hmm. And more about my home state of Kentucky. And um, I think that's it for now. Okay, fantastic, fantastic. Uh, could you get your cousin to come in here for a minute? Sure. Yeah, okay. All right. They shouldn't be. Hi there. Hey. Welcome to St. Croix. I guess I called <laughs> yeah. her in to, to, to tell you that. And uh, wow. yeah, I spent a few years in Washington, D.C., so I know about the hustle and bustle and the, oh, nice. and the pressure. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I, and I told her, I said, you know, I know she's saying under her breath, why do we have to leave on Saturday? You know? so, yeah. yeah, so had some good times with those yeah. nor'easters and heavy Isn't snowfalls. You like it? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so I, I can get one of those for you? Oh, you finished reading it already? I did. You did? Okay, I'll tell you what. Why don't, why don't we get one for Jeremiah as a going away gift? Mm -hmm. What do you think? He'd like that? Mm -hmm. okay. I think he would really enjoy it. Okay, <laughs> fantastic. You, hear, you heard it here, folks, on WSTX. The number one book critic, Damari Canton, is telling you that, hey, you will definitely enjoy it. You have a young person in your house. Bring them down to Undercover Books, and definitely when you leave, make sure you have a copy of Tea, Seas, and Island by <laughs> author Tani Lamb. Yeah, from time to time. <laughs> See, you should have brought your, your the guitar. You could have played something for them. It's the, I, I can't play what's on my pick. Okay, all right, okay. All right, I'll let you get away this time. You don't have your pick, so you can't play today. And you said I can't play the instrument with coins or else it'll... Okay. All right. So you got me. You got me. You got me. All right. You got me. Folks, WSTX AM 970, your community-minded station. And for this last hour, we had Miss Tani Lamb, author of the book TC's an Island, and book critic Damari Canton there, <laughs> giving his blessing and highest recommendation to this book. And I tell you... Uh, I, I shared with Tani earlier that is the most sincere and a very great commendation recommendation. So <laughs> next time around, he will be her book agent or something down here because definitely he found it to be fun and interesting. <laughs>